pieces on the deck that have steps today here and then on the far side there's one for the slider um, you can see there's two snow shovels a yellow snow shovel here and at the other corner of the deck those are there just to kind of let you know where the um, septic line runs it's underneath the deck the, the tank obviously is farther out today there's a gazebo we'll want that removed and so this is the deck here so we're looking at keeping pretty much the same size over there um, we just added a hot tub so all of this is very temporary um, literally probably two months ago and um, <clears throat> what we want is we want the patio to go all the way up to the house go around the hot tub so you can take the cover off and then um, transition over here where we want to put some type of fire pit around fire pit we're thinking maybe having some kind of sitting wall um, but I'll try and give you a sense for the slope with my walking and then I'll give you a picture of the deck from maybe 15 feet back 20 feet back so you can see that as well okay I hope that helps I'll send a couple other pictures too and let me know if you need anything else just finished the project for a previous customer. Uh, just purchased this home about a year ago and called us uh, back to put a patio in for her. Uh, there used to be a deck uh, coming off that slider with a gazebo, a large deck. Uh, she sold the gazebo, we demoed the deck. Um, material underneath it was pretty good. We didn't have to excavate that much. Pavers. Uh, Blue 60 Slate HD by Teco. Steps. Roca Riviera by Teco. Drainage was a key issue. There's four downspouts, all drain into dry wells. Uh, these window wells we formed with uh, Pietra edge block by Teco. Uh, there's a concrete pan underneath um, the cone in the cone inlets there. there. These three dry wells connect with one pipe. Turns 90 under the patio to a dry well connected to that downspout as well. That connects over. And there's a T there. Fire pit, Valencia by Teco. Everything is Champlain gray. Um, gas installer will be here in a few days. We did have to run the gas line uh, underneath this patio around the hot tub. Of course, we lifted the hot tub off and rent trenched and for the gas line. The gas installer will be putting the tank on the corner of the house and assembling the, uh, the burner. We went two levels because the backside really dropped off fast. Uh, good size slope. So we took some of the excavated material and used it to berm up. And then we brought a little bit more material in to make it nice and smooth for them. Okay. That's about it.